بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وی آر اسٹارٹنگ دا میتھڈالوجی آف حدیث ریسرچ اینڈ مینی ڈیٹیلڈ وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ ان دا پریویس لیکچر ٹوڈے ویل فردر سی وی آر اسٹارٹنگ دس حدیث ریسرچ ایچ ایس زیرو ٹو بک اباؤٹ اٹ دیٹ ہاؤ وی شوڈ آئیڈینٹیفائڈ اٹ ایز ان دا پریویس لیکچر آئی مینشن دیٹ ہاؤ the reports about the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his bibliography how it was mentioned and how it go to different generations and but unfortunately that many persons conducted fraud hadith reports some spam reports so how you can check it all this method i have mentioned you and also in the previous lecture i mentioned that what was the reasons people created spam reports for example their objective was just because they were enemies of islam so they created some wrong information and some persons for their political agenda or some sectarianism agenda they have created spam reports and everything was go to the books so all from these books you will get it a lot of spam reports in facebook youtube and many other emails you will get it so i mentioned in the previous lecture that you'll have to check two things one is called dirayat dirayat means that the hadith report match with the quran logic and authentic hadith reports or not if yes then it's okay otherwise it will be a spam report is the hadith report is logical or not if logical then it's okay if illogical then it means it is spam report then personal addition to that you'll have to check the especially which is called virayat method which means the chain of narrators through the names of the narrators whether every person was reliable or not we have mentioned in detail in the previous lectures so today our topic on dirayat methods in the reliability of narrators as i have mentioned you that okay that person is view whether all of them are reliable or not and whether if a single person was unreliable person or there is no need to conduct further research as such report is not reliable at all if all persons are reliable then we need to review the content of report as well whether the report is authentic or not so then this is called dirayat method in dirayat method is our topic today note keywords in the content of existing hadith report then search the same key keywords in the quran and read the content and match whether the content match with the quran or if something is against the quran search the same key keywords in in other already rechecked authentic hadith reports as well and match that your existing hadith report where you are conducting the research whether it is matching if matching then it's okay if not some conflict then it there is some problem review the content based on logic as well that because the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he cannot give illogical things he mention the logical way to the people otherwise it will be if it is illogical it means such a report is wrong and for example some lying fraud corruption in unethical activities cannot possible that the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam may allah bless him and his companions may allah please with them cannot do so it 
therefore such reports are not authentic they are spam reports you will have to check everything in detail so now these are the questions you will have questions about these research methods that why are these research important the answer is that if you purchase some products or services can you check it whether it is reliable and what's the quality of the product and services if yes then we must conduct analysis to confirm that such reports attributes to the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to confirm whether it is reliable or not and if you know that people are conducting fraud can you conduct analysis to filter what is fraud and what is true should you do it logically i think you will think yes you need to conduct this research about hadith reports and especially we know that persons conducted psychological fraud in hadith reports and this financial political and sectarianism become the source as a result of that so that's why we must conduct this hadith research your questions might be my why hadith research difficult and long analysis because around 70000 more than 70000 hadith reports are available in different books and more than 100000 persons their names are there so how to conduct this research so it was a difficult topic difficult research and people already did so for their life for 50 60 years by like scholars bukhari and muslims they did so but now everything is available in software easily and you can just click and read it that you can get whether such it is easy or not now you can see that the victory of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his disciples that how their government was established from this afghanistan to morocco in companions and in the next generation it go from pakistan and turkmenistan to spain muslims government was established that's why different companions go to different countries and explain to them and new muslims and their students they got further informations about the prophet that's why this hadith reports were become available why such hadith reports were recorded after many centuries this your question will be because the main issue was that paper was not ex- available easily they had to import papers from china before so that's why that only muslim governments was able to purchase papers from china and then they were able to write reports so they did so but in 92 hijri which is 711 ce period when the minimize persecution and get victory from madina to this ka Kyrgyzstan to Spain Muslims happened and then this happened that from China people Muslims understood their method and then paper factories were prepared and it become very cheap for people and they were able to write books but then side effect 
happened that false spam reports were also become enter into the books so that's why this all thing happened how it was possible to review more than 70000 reports you don't need it but now it's become easy that hadith scholars through their research they have wrote a lot of books the biggest book is by ahmed bin hamdal his time was his death was at 241 hijri 855 ce period and he wrote 55000 reports in one book and then many other scholars also conducted further books then traveling to different cities and villages and they also conducted bibliography of more than 500000 narrators to confirm whether which person is reliable or not so the biggest quality of researchers conducted by bukhari his death happened at 256 hijri 870 ce period and muslim also conducted the biggest quality his death at 261 hijri 875 ce period then conducted matching further in books further and this already happened at 150 hijri which means 767 c to to today you can conduct research and right now all this is available in software and you can just click it and you can get report and further detail of each narrator whether this narrator is reliable or not you can check it and the content of the report you can read it and you can match further in other hadith authentic reports as well match with it and you can also match with the quran as well so it become easy for you your question may be that why some notable companions minimized reports like abu bakkar umar radhiyallahu anhu ma mella please them because they were very careful persons and they wanted to avoid any mistakes about the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that's why they did but some companions who had conducted the career in education so that's why they wrote a lot of books in their diaries and they explained further for 40 50 years to their teach students so as a result of that become easy for them so that's why majority companions wanted to minimize errors this was the reason your question may be such hadith research was conducted by some human person how can confirm that this effort is reliable i will say yes because you can check further on the report of one person you can base from other person you can check it and based on that uh, whether the person is reliable and then the report of hadith is match with the quran and logic and other authentic reports you can match it yes it is easy for you to give answer previously it was difficult to read in a lot of different books and then search it but right now in the software you can search it in internet you can get it and you can confirm it is it not possible that we think that the reports is unreliable but it may be reliable it may happen yes but the easy method is that the quality you will have to check it and if quality has some problem then you should avoid it 
uh, you will not leave something no problem because the history of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is mentioned in the quran and a lot of authentic reports as well so you will get all the information of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam you can get it. large persons assume sectarianism and they conducted war with each other the source of sectarianism is spam reports it is confirmed that's why you need to conduct research to confirm and you will find it that all the sectarianism can get rid of it you can at least rid of it to just conduct hadith research your question may be what is the benefit of such research the main benefit that you can get the information and performance of the prophet may Allah bless him practical performance of the quran with practically you will see in the hadith that how the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam did action based on the quran get the bibliography of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam you can get it and get wisdom ethics and religious performance and get rid of sectarianism you can get it this is the benefit of hadith research then your question may be why did such hadith report was not conducted during history of muslims muslims did so especially from 11 to 300 hijri period 632 to 913 ce in different times they have conducted reports and they are available right now and muslim scholars continuously review it to confirm the quality of the reports of hadith it is not possible to conduct interview of narrators children to write the bibliography of narrators because all the narrators say their research is already done it is available in the books and from their books it is available in the software so now it become very easy for you just only thing is that you should able to just understand the arabic language and you will be able to translate that in in english that's it you can do it as in the previous lecture i can shared one the biggest website but there are many other the biggest is the hadith.islam-db.com you can conduct an detail about search you can get the hadith report and also the name of the narrators whether these narrators are reliable or not and in any arabic words you don't understand it you can translate it in translate.google.com you can translate it in english and you can get it i have shared in the previous lecture and then types of hadith research books you will get in the same website common books which are for common public like sahih bukhari sahih muslim for example this is available books about hadith research you will get it to gharib hadith reports what they are this is unique hadith reports which means that only one person explain something so you can get it then mushkil mushkil ul hadith which means some problems in books you can get it nas nasikh ul mansukh i will explain further in the lectures that which reports are cancelled and which are cancellers so these are the types of books of hadith research you can get in the same website if you not get it you can get further in other websites books and unauthentic reports are mentioned then ala hadith means secret errors in special reports 
so you can get it and then tashif tashif which means reasons of errors and shuru al hadith means the commentary of the detail of hadith so all these books are available these are just i am shared the types of these books are available in the same websites you can get it analysis of narrators especially criticism on reliability of the narrators whether they are reliable or not then bibliography of companions and their students and next generation every person's bibliography is available and bibliography of mudlisin mudlisin means the fraud persons who conducted these stack their bibliography is also available adraj adraj means the narrator who add his personal sentences and words which they have added in their hadith reports so this is also a sort of a fraud you can get it a narrator who get hadith reports from his children class fellows and about the class fellows and children and their students and their teachers for bibliography of every of them you can get it birth and death time of the narrators will be available to you and relatives of each narrator and bibliography of narrators whose names match with each other as well you can get it to understand that who is the person you are conducting research the main rule of hadith research are especially these 15 points so this i will suggest you the content of such hadith report match with the quran other authentic hadith reports of the same topics and logic as well you have to check it religious and ethical reliability of all the narrators of each hadith report that whether all the narrators are reliable or not of each report reputation of each narrator capacity of each narrator memory understanding language skills travel skills everything you have to check it to confirm whether this narrator was the student of whose teacher to confirm that whether that the chain of narrators is to confirm that who are the reliable persons his attitude to conduct reports used deliver reports on the original words or sentences or used in different words and sentences you can check it to confirm whether the quality of this hadith report is done by this narrator is okay or not did he or she wrote reports or just memorized through brain if he record in writing what happened with his diary is this diary exist or deleted what was the situation then changed his her memory skills during time to time and timeline of changes of his or her further skills his or her reports and reports of the class fellows as well to check it to confirm whether all the class fellows the same report match if match then it's okay otherwise it may be some problem any negative comments about his friends or class fellows and neighbors you will have to check it then you will have to check the chain of narrators is complete which means that all the persons whether the chain of narrator is complete just as an example in the red color you can say from mr b and mr d some missing person is there which means the chain of narrator is not complete you have to check did he or she was 
part of political or sectarianism gang or not if they are part of gang then this person is not reliable was it possible that he become student of so and so teacher so to confirm whether he is the student of that so you can confirm that okay the chain of narrators is correct if he his hadith report does not match with the hadith reports taught by class fellows which means there is some error so you can avoid it is it possible that the narrator was able to understand such hadith report which he or she delivered i give in the previous lecture an example mr b mentioned that i get report from mr d but was it possible mr b was able to become student of mr d was it possible because mr d his death happened at 719 c and his student death is 816 c so it means that mr b if his life happened for 150 years then it's okay but mostly it not happen so it means that this is not possible that mr b is a student of mr d no how many mistakes he has already done in different reports you need to check it but you will say how i can get it for mr b let's suppose if let's suppose mr b is if his name of this let's suppose adam bin abdullah just click it you will get it all the information then for mr adam bin ali you will click it you will get it such information about it and you will all these 15 questions i have mentioned so you will get the answer then you will mention whether the hadith report is authentic or not so whatever questions feel free to ask me in the email uh, inshallah in the next lectures we will further see the methodology of hadith research والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته